Hey you guys, it's Cece. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're here to craft some runes. And we're not crafting just any runes, we are in the ancient one. And this is something I actually realized when I was going in and I was like, oh, I should do some crafting. And I realized that it's been a while since I've actually gone through and seen what I could craft out of my ancient ones. And I know I've been doing some second awakenings in Lumel and I've also been doing just some farming in general. And I was like, I have a decent amount of um, like, materials here that I could actually use to craft. So the ones that I am aiming for, I will only be crafting the Lumel ones. And I'm really going for will. I would, I need some more will. <laughs> I need some more runes in general that are actually usable. Um, so I am going for Will. I can also use Vampire. In terms of like energy and guard, I don't really use this set on its own. Like this is a set that I will use if I need a secondary, if it has really good substats. Um, otherwise, I find it's not one that I really gravitate towards immediately. And Destroy as well. There's certain units who are really good on Destroy. But again, kind of a select few, not the like main thing. I'm in here mainly for those will and the vampire. So we'll go in and craft. I also like that they have the don't show again message because clicking it like every time where it's like, do you want to craft? Like, yeah, that's why I'm here. And five stars we're going to be selling mostly, mostly. Um, if it's like legendary speed, I may keep that. Otherwise, hopefully we like make mana and don't lose mana, but chances of that happening. Um, there's other blue runes I will actually keep if it's a six star blue rune. It has like the stats, it rolls correctly. Um, five stars though, I just, I find I don't keep at all anymore. And I at some point did like a purge on my account where I was selling like a bunch of five stars unless it had really fast speed. And that was like the only reason I'm using the rune. Otherwise I feel like I had to like upgrade myself and be like a little more strict with runes. Um, I could also power them up right away, which I do like that they do have that included. For the sake of this video, um, I won't really be doing that unless we get a legendary, then I will probably power that up right away. But that's being super optimistic to say I'm getting a legendary. <laughs> Do you guys find that you like lose mana more than make on this? They did improve that though. At some point it was really bad. <laughs> so I'm glad we at least have that. And if I can even walk away with like, like two usable runes and that's being super generous because, and that's like generous of me saying two, I would like to have more than two, that's like, because I'm crafting 55 runes here, and if I only walk with two usable runes, <laughs> that would be really sad. Hey, I should upgrade my standards a little, but... Okay, we have a legendary. It is a destroy. Okay, so we have crit damage, crit rate, uh, resistance, and accuracy. You know what? Let's just power it up to, to 12 for the sake of it and just see what happens. Um, I could probably use it on someone. Not necessarily the stats that I would be aiming for if I'm going for the crit rate, crit damage. Um, it would be nice for a not to roll into resistance or accuracy. Uh, I also find that a lot of my runes lately have been rolling into resistance when I have a resistance. Um, not to like brag, but I did get a quad roll into resistance on a rune a few days ago. Um, I feel like I should have taken a screenshot and I may have actually um, in terms of those situations. I will typically try to screenshot it and I'll put it on like Twitter or something just to share it with you guys. So if you aren't following me on Twitter, it is in the description box below. Um, I like to share kind of other stuff that you might not see, you know, when I'm actually filming it and things like that. Like the quad rolls that go into resistance. <laughs> Oh, it was, it was kind of sad. So I went into a different rune that also had resistance and I think two or three of them may have gone into it. It was also soul. Not to say resistance is bad because there are certain units that you will actually want resistance on and can be very, like fairly helpful. Um, so I'm not like knocking it by any means, but when you have a really good rune and everything rolls into there, it hurts a little bit. And I, yeah. I mean, you can always re it, but there's certain runes that I feel like you, like you kind of want to save your re stones at least a little bit for certain ones that might be more worth it, like your violence, um, especially if they do have those innates, which does help. So far this has been split. So we had one into resistance, one into crit rate, crit damage. If this last one goes into accuracy, like, that was the blue root. <laughs> it did, it did, it totally did. Oh man, that's like low too. I'm sad, like five into, that's sad. It's an ancient one as well. That was a high, high roll into resistance though, but like the crit damage, the crit rate, the accuracy. Oh, ouch, ouch. Well, keep crafting. I mean, I can't say I didn't get a legendary out of here, but I have been trying to also just in general, like improve my runes by using more of the ancient ones when possible. 
Which is why it is a good idea. Use your dimensional whole energy. I've said it before. I will say it again. You do not want it to sit at that full, like, 100 out of 100. And I know that we work on, uh, you know, 2A units and stuff. But it's definitely worth it to actually use that energy and get these runes. Even though I'm selling all the ones I'm selling. I mean, what, we've had, like, two that we have kept? <laughs> One being that legendary that I rolled with you guys. Uh, I'm gonna sell that as well. And I know some people do keep um, five star ancient ones as well. Ooh, okay, so a vampire. Um, we have the speed, the rest of the stats, like, ac like the flat attack, accuracy, speed, and defense. I mean, essentially we, <laughs> we wanna quad roll into speed. Maybe they will witness my first ever right now with me. Um, maybe not as well. Okay, accuracy, we already got one, let's, Give me something into speed though. I mean, I'm not like mad at the accuracy because again, those are like some units you do need high accuracy on. Okay, we have something into speed. It's only five on a legendary, ancient. So nice and, you know, low. <laughs> that's okay though, that's okay. We're, we're, we're remaining positive. Again with the accuracy, that is a lot of accuracy for Vampire Rune. And I'm trying to think of who I use vampire runes on and who I need to rune right now. They don't need as much accuracy as I can give them with this rune. So again, I'm a little sad at this and we'll see where this last one goes, but yeah, yeah. Relatable, I hope. <laughs> okay, last one. If you go into accuracy, I don't even, I mean, I could pretty much get like this one rune for a unit. They're all, all the accuracy will just come from this, but. The people that I'm using vampire runes on, like, not that it doesn't help, but like off the top of my head, Garo. Garo is a unit that you use with vamp. Um, I would much rather have speed. I would much rather have some crit rate. I went into accuracy. <laughs> okay, who needs 26% accuracy? Let me know, Which, who could I use this on? Um, I'm not gonna go in and sell it right now. I mean, this game is essentially like one big like grind for runes, right? That's what we're, that's why we play, is to actually get runes to improve our units so we're able to use them in other parts of the game, which a lot of it is gonna be PvP. <sighs> the accurate, I still can't get over it, guys. But we did get two legendaries. Um, I'll keep that. Hopefully that rolls twice into speed. I'm not gonna sit here and roll that one um, like with you guys right now on camera because it's not a legendary. It's not gonna be as exciting to watch. Um, it's a very bad stats for a blue rune. If I'm gonna keep a blue, it's gotta give me like a reason to actually keep it. And I also know in some of the like rune videos I've done, it's kind of similar to this where some of you are like, oh, I would have kept that, this and that. Rune, runes will always vary by account and what you need. I can guarantee you, I may be a lot stricter on one of my accounts than other accounts. This being my EU account, I've found that I've maybe been like too strict in the past and then I don't have enough runes for my units. So I've had to kind of scale it back a little and be like, oh, I wouldn't use this, but right now I could probably use it. So something else to consider for what your needs are on your account will always vary <laughs> kind of based on what you're working at and how your progress is. And we have like a few more left to craft. I mean, we had something usable. We had the one legendary. If this rolls into speed, I will keep it potentially. The other stat. Okay. Well, that was all we actually ended up crafting. So we actually did, if I'm doing some stats, we had 55 ancient runes that we crafted. Two of them were legendary. I didn't even keep track of the other ones I actually kept. I feel like I, le I kept less than five runes, but it's still worth it to use your dimensional hole and try to get some runes. So if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below as I am putting new videos out daily and you don't want to miss out. That's it for today's video. So bye for now. Next level.